the other stuff that I already did. Thousands of years, House Forester have been loyal bannermen to House Stark. In the darkest reaches of the Wolf's Wood, they harvest the rare ironwood trees. Now the North has been ripped apart by war and rival houses seek and rival houses seek to claim Forester Ironwood for themselves, and the face of House Forester hangs in the balance. The face? Did I just say the face? The fate? The trout, the trout, the trout in the towers, the wolves of the fish, and they all ran away. The trout, he fought all for the towers. The great Jamie Lannister, Kingslayer, Oathbreaker, brought to his knees by the men of the North. And set free by the women. You'd think he done it himself the way he tells it. Lord Forrester's sword won't clean itself, you know. Make sure it's spotless this time. Lord Forrester won't be happy with blood and brains all over it. Go on. It's only blood. But... Now that is a proper sword. I'll have one like it myself someday. <laughs> you? You'll never have a sword like that. I say that as a friend. And if we're being honest. I will. You'll see. Of course, your lordship. After you take your rightful place on the Iron Throne. I had hand in it, you know. <laughs> hand in what? Capturing him. He was nowhere near the Kingslayer at the Whispering Wood. He was so drunk, he barely made it out of his tent. Next, he'll tell us he caught Tyrion, too. <laughs> Shh. Let him finish. Oh, he'll talk all night if you let him. You captured the Kingslayer? Aye. Well, I had a hand in it. Aye. And round his ankle as ten others took him down. <laughs> See? What did I tell you? I brought him to his knees. Lord Forrester. But not before he dragged you halfway across the battlefield on your face. You're questioning <laughs> Norrin's honor. I'm questioning Norrin's story. Which grows more far-fetched every time he tells it. Get your liege lord some wine. Go on. Right, thanks. You're welcome. Thank you, Garrett. I'll do it. Norrin's family has faithfully served House Forrester for centuries. His honor is beyond reproach. Imagine that. And House Your family Tully being is tied to death. somebody else's family You've never seen centuries. a deal proud so well as the day the Kingslayer dragged poor Norrin across the battlefield. My family can't even get along with their neighbors for, like, months. Not even centuries. Fetch your cup. The night we celebrate. <laughs> to Rob Stark, the king in the north! The, the king, king of the king north! In the north! Tomorrow, we march on Casterly Rock, and House Forrester has been given the greatest honor to lead the young wolf's army and ride as the vanguard! The gods have favored us. Onward! To Castle Rock! Aye! Death to the Lannisters! Aye! I am from ice! Aye! Got it. Yes, my lord? I need you to keep an eye out for Roderick. As his father, I could not be more proud of the man he's become. On a night like this, Men find false courage at the bottom of their cups. I'd rather he were here. Yes, my lord. There's also the question, what's to be done with you? It's been on my mind for a while now. What do you mean? You've served House Forrester well for several years now. <coughs> I can't expect you to squire forever. How shall I reward your loyalty? What can I offer you? You served me well. To bring honor to House Forrester, my lord. You have more honor than those who were born to it. There were those who had their doubts when your uncle put forth your name as my squire. But you've erased those doubts entirely. 
It would be an honor to see you riding by Roderick's side in the vanguard tomorrow. Not as a squire, but as the equal of any man who serves House Forrester. It's well deserved, Garrett. Your hard work has paid off. Thank you, my lord. I promise. I won't let you down. That I don't doubt. But for now, keep this between us. We're celebrating tonight. I wouldn't want the other squires to feel discouraged. Yes, my lord. Now go, and find Roderick if you can. I will, my lord. Thank you. Bloody hell. Didn't take. Squire! Fetch us more wine! Can you give me a hand? Come on. Can I get up to you? Yeah, no problem. I have been a squire longer than you. So? I outrank you. You should help me. A little bit of a twat. Fetch more wine. Scrub my armor, clean my boots. Just my luck to end up with Norin while you serve the Lord. Let him fetch his own wine for once. He's a drunk, a liar, and an arrogant prick. It's your job to do the work and stop complaining. You try squiring for Norin and see how much you like it. See, that's where you're lucky. Low expectations. If I'd grown up covered in pig shit, shovel and slop, well, maybe I'd think saddling his horse was the greatest honor in the Seven Kingdoms. I suppose this beats pig farming. Who doesn't love bacon? Ah, pig farmers. <laughs> All I'm saying is, at this rate we'll never be more than this, which is nothing. The lowest of the low. For all I know, we could be squires for life. All in wine around a fucking wedding. Give it time. You'll get there. Or easy for you to say. Maybe if my uncle were castle in a house forester, I'd feel different. Who my uncle is has nothing to do with it. How much further? Well, that's right over there. Take your time. You lot have drunk your share. Good thing, Lord Walders. In a generous mood. Fucking phrase. Nice night for a wedding. Not often he finds a willing husband for one of his daughters. Don't expect me to carry it for you, Sir Garrett. What? What's wrong? gotten into you. You're acting rather odd. We have enough wine. And take the fucking flagon already. What's wrong with him? Something the matter? Bowen, we have to go. You go if you're in such a rush. We have to warn the others. Good luck. <laughs> Even though I knew that was going to happen, it was still brutal. <laughs> ah. Okay.
Swaps, swaps, swaps. kidding me? Stop fucking yelling at the guy when he's in the middle of a fight. He was distracted. Got it. Did you find Roderick? Speak up, Garrett. Did you see him or not? Uh, I tried to save him, but there was nothing I could do. Except not fucking yell and distract him. He's fighting, maybe. Where's my squire? You didn't leave him, did you? What happened to him? Speak up, boy. I, I had to leave him. I had no other choice. Find a weapon, quickly! My lord. I'd never make it. They'll hunt us down like dogs. Walter Frey says time's over. <gasps> Guard this with your life. Return it to Ironrath where it belongs. Is it a Valerian There's no time sword? to waste. Damned if I let it fall into the hearts of those traitors. What the phrase you have to go. I will do as you command, my lord. You have served me well. I know I can count on you. Tell your uncle. <laughs> Tell him. The North Grove must never be lost. Tell no one but him. Do you understand? You must swear. Tell only your uncle Duncan. I swear that I will, my lord. Hey, it's those foresters! Now go. On your honor, you must do this for your house. Go! Kill those <laughs> fucking foresters! <laughs> <laughs>
learned this guy's name yet? I forget. Likely that anybody would. Like a pig like that would be so valuable as food that if you killed it, you would certainly take it with you. Father's car. Like literally his father's car, I guess. Lord Bolton better give us fucking titles for this. Winter may be common, but at least still have his bacon. Long boy, there's nothing for you here. <coughs> Father, I said move on. Unless you want to get fed to the fucking pigs. I recognize you. You're a forester squire. Former Stark bannermen have no claim on land anymore. Or haven't you heard? The Starks are dead. Where'd you get that sword? Not a chance that sword is his. Must have stolen it. Out here by himself. Probably a deserter. Lord Forrester gave me this sword. Hmm. Forrester. I should have known. That sword's too big for you, boy. You can barely pick it up. Get off my land. This is Bolton land now, boy. Lord Bolton is the new Warden of the North. I reckon he'd like a proper lordly sword like that. No. I'll have that sword, boy. Come get it, you bastard. Trying to grab the pitchfork, but I couldn't see it. <coughs> All right. Finish this fucking pig farmer. Pathetic. You really are a pig farmer. <laughs> Oh, no. 
Ah, oh, come on. I hit it. <laughs> Don't have to redo the entire thing. for this. That much I promise. <laughs> he almost just stabbed Father? his dad with the sword. Garrett, you survived. <laughs> your, your sister. Oh, she hid. I tried to stop them. I'll kill the men who did this. <laughs> 